Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sima'ai campaign. This is episode 11. We pick it up from turn 69 from the winter season of 304. So last episode, uh, we wrapped up our fight with Gu Zhen. And now if we look at the diplomatic status, we are at peace with everyone around, around us. Uh, but people are starting to uh, dislike us as we expand and become more powerful, especially our neighbors. Uh, Sima Chi, who used to be one of our uh, staunch allies, now uh, is fearful of our growing influence. And they should be, because we're looking to expand that way. We kept uh, the Jin Empire pretty friendly with us. Uh, Sima Ying is pretty friendly with us. Sima Wei doesn't like us, but we've been paying him off. So that's that. And then we're going to be taking over Sikant. We're going to try to take over all the south. So let's jump back in here. Uh, first things first. Semi leveled up. Um, we have a few choices here. Uh, we can either go for focus, which will give his range armor piercing damage, range damage to own retinue, but these are all own retinue. That's the only issue. We don't have a Zor Dragon yet. That's unlocked behind uh, a title rank. We need to rank up first. Alternatively, uh, we can get unbreakable, which is quite nice. Um, he did have one battle where he was low health and had to uh, run away. That will prevent that. But he's no longer commanding, so this boost is not really that significant. The plus two noble support is quite nice though, so we should get that. So I think we should go this way. We should just give up on Unbreakable. Mm, although authority stat's quite nice too. So I gotta figure out a few reforms that we're never gonna pick up. Right, we're going to pick up Composure, we're going to pick up Focus for a Zor Dragon. We could pick up this, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have four more skill points to use. We don't need Unyielding Earth, actually, eh, it's actually not bad. Hmm. Okay, Inspiring Surge is out. We're not getting that one. Which other one are out? I think we have to sacrifice mobility. Oh man, that means we probably have to sacrifice trust as well. That way we have three are out and then we probably have to sacrifice one of these. I mean, Unyielding Earth is not that good. The melee evasion boost is really good. So maybe say goodbye to stability and just suffer the noble support issue. We'll manage better commanderies. All right, let's do that. Let's get Unbreakable first. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's get that first. These can be later on because we're not going to get Azor Dragons for a while. Alright, so buildings. Uh, we got to reassess what we were building actually. As I'm making my... Um, well, I already, by this time, by this time this episode's out, all the eight princess building guides are going to be out. And I realized a few things. I realized a few things that in order to get your noble support balanced, what you really need is more land development buildings. So we gotta make some building changes here. Like this marketplace building, this building's out. This building is trash. I shouldn't I shouldn't have built it. That was a big mistake. So when this is finished, we'll kick this building out. Right now we're not suffering from it because we have rebellion right outside. But that's really not what you want. You want more of these buildings right here. Farm buildings give great noble support. And there, that's going to be the backbone of a lot of the economy. Um, Alright, we just captured this. That's right. They have a bad building here. We're going to get rid of that. We don't need this either. This is a good building. We could upgrade it, but I don't know if we want to here. This is going to be more of a commerce town. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait to build it in here. Ba -dong. 
All right, everything else looks pretty good. Changsha has the rebellion outside, but that's fine. They're not going to do much. We have an army over here who's just stabilizing this situation here. We ended up building a school building to boost the um, noble support up. But now I realize the best building to build here might actually... Eh, for this one, actually, school building is fine because we have so much discount to learning buildings. This is a free building for us. So we're actually going to keep it and boost it as high as we can. We're just going to stay away from building the marketplace building and all the noble support will be just fine. Uh, they'll stay put for now. We don't have any enemies. I think that pretty much wraps up our turn actually. Yeah, I think oh, we can invoke a mission. Let's do that. Uh, crush the uprising. Okay, we'll do just that very soon. Small city to a city. Uh, no rush. No rush for that. Alright. Let's just go to next turn. Hmm, trade offer from Sima Yue. He's not willing to pay for it, but that's not a bad deal. Because he's far from us. We're not going to fight him for a long time, so we can probably keep this trade deal going for a while. Hmm, not a fan, not aggression. Although maybe we can trade him for it. We can offer him like a trader or a builder. We have two builders. And we just simply don't have enough. Actually, clay axe. That's useless. There we go. We're going to do this deal with him. Ooh, Jin Empire don't like that. Alright, maybe let's hold off. We'll negotiate trade on our own terms. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, Sima Yue just entered the war against Sima Liang's Cao Huan. So this means we might have difficulty getting a deal with him. Sima Chi has actually joined a war against the Empire. Okay. He's looking for trouble. Oh, that's right, because Sima Chi and the Empire declared war last episode. Um, Sima Wei signed a peace treaty with Cao Mao. Sure. Ah, Empress demands supplies. Another mission. Alright, choices, choices. What do we want? I still want to build up my wealth. And I also want to build up my mind. I want the more ammo and research rate. Satisfaction punishment. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. This one, let's see. Spirit is going up. It's gonna cause corruption issue. That's not a big deal. Might, I'm not building might. This cause ca uh, character salary. That's also not a big deal. So I think we're still gonna go with wealth. Unless we really want to be in favor and give her food. We could afford that. And then in favor would continue. Hmm. In favor is actually really strong. Spirit. Yeah, let's do that. The 10% corruption is something we can actually deal with. Morale boost. Diplomatic relationship. Yeah, this sounds pretty good, actually. Let's do that. Alrighty. So we give her food. We have a bunch of new characters. I'm excited for that. Uh, Devious Attendant, who can use him as trade bait. So let's look at our cities here. We're going to build the inn first. Very important building. We have a level up. Ooh. Huan Yi leveled up to level 2. Does this cause a lot of desires? No, actually no. Huh. That's good. He's a good spy, but he has been failing us in that aspect. But other than spying, he's not really great on the battlefield. Avoiding ambush. Noble support for administrator. Maybe, I don't know, he's not that great. We'll keep him around for now for assignments, but he's not really that useful. Let's see, Tsang Wu. Hmm. Tsang Wu is our major food income town, so selling food is fine here. All right, let's bump up this to more peasantry income. And we also should upgrade this to a um, small regional city. See, the, now the thing is without penalty to, um, what do you call it? Penalty to noble support from population. Because it used to be public order is punished by your population. You actually benefit a lot from boosting your population as high as possible because there's no more effects, negative effects from population. So we're getting increased 
replenishment bonus we're getting cheaper construction time on the settlement and we're getting more peasantry income boost so it's all positives here uh changsha still has the same issue ling ling should boost the government support assuming we have assignment here we don't we should get one here actually we should get one here soon but let's lose some reformation points oh we are not we can't wow that this is not great Minus 26? What's going on? Minus 6 here. Yeah, we can't afford this. Hmm. We have too many commanderies. We need more counties. That's the problem. Right, we need something like this, where we own the counties, but we don't own the commanderies, so we don't incur any negative reformation. Because we're so close to getting the next level. We're so close. 1.1. We're like 100 points away. But we pick this up. And this is negative 6. Puyang should have assignment. Uh, he's on his way back. So that's why. If he was working, it wouldn't be this bad. Because he's not working. This is minus 6. Actually, this one shouldn't be that bad. This one's plus 2. Plus 3. Minus six. So this one should be minus one. We actually don't need assignment here. That's good. Ling Ling is probably not that great. Minus four, minus six. That's minus ten. We need to put the assignment here. Changsha. He's also coming back. Oh, that's why. They're all coming back. So normally it would be fine. It's just that they're all coming back so that right now we have negative one. Um, slight overreaction, I guess. All right, everything in the building is fine. We should look at the new people that we have. Let's see. He's 47. Tax collector used to work for Sima Ying. Uh, not sure I will welcome him with open arms. He might be a spy. Let's see him. Cunning. Gracious. Vain. 52. A little old. Disciplinarian. Direct. Stubborn. Oh, so he's stubborn and he's, uh, okay. Interesting traits. Also, not a big fan. Bright, graceful. Uh, I mean, this is not bad. So he's like, he has the basic um, administrator buffs, like the 40%, 50% boost to commerce and industry. And then you have the plus two food, which is always good. He's. We could consider him eventually. Right now, it just doesn't stand out. Plus two food. She's not bad either. Plus two food, basically. And then the standard bus for being administrator. All right, but we don't have a slot for that right now. And we're not terribly close to... Oh, we are close. Seven more points. All right, guys. We're about to be Grand pr Prince. And then we can unlock all of these reforms, which is what I really want. There's so many of these that I want. Um, Alright, so we took care of everything. Let's move our armies, actually. So, what we should do is pick up these two empty ones first. They're counties. I'm kind of shying away from taking cities right now. We want those two as well. But maybe we can peacefully grab two as first. These two here. If you look at ownership, these are all black. This one's probably no one's taken it yet. Mm, yeah, let's spend a little bit of our cash and uh, build up over here before we move on. Let's start with the salt mine and then we move our way back. Oh, interesting. Is he going to go capture the fishing port? Maybe we'll catch him out in the fishing port rather than in the city. That would be nice. That would be very nice, actually. Our other army is taking care of the city's noble support problem. Over here, they got a new unit, so they're getting scarier by the second. Um, we should probably start building up this army to fight off them very soon. Uh, let's do the standard two archer in three crossbow, and one tribuchet. Over here, we're going to go with these guys. 
I don't know why they scattered it like this. It's kind of bothering me since I'm OCD, but um really want to try these guy out. Is he a good general? Uh, he's not bad. Just not not so good either. Doesn't have the buffs for shot cavalry yet. All right, we're still cheap. Extra armor, range block chance. Lose a lot of speed though. Yeah, we're still very cheap. All right. So this army will go out and attack after they finish replenishing, or we can just wait till they attack us once they get fully replenished. But right now, nothing's really happening. And they're they knocked out all the negative here, so thankful for that. Um, let's see. That's everything, actually. Let's go to next turn. Oh, big coalition out west. Uh, Longxi, Wudu, Chengdu. So these are all out west. This is Sima Yi. Okay, so we don't have to worry about any of these guys. Uh, we're just going to reject. All right. Jin Empire, Cao Huan declare war uh, against Sima Jiong. Sure. And Ba Dong and Ba Wang have signed a peace treaty. They have attacked the city. They laid it to siege. We can just automate this. Right, we have a much superior force. Despite them not being fully replenished, but they are not replenished either. They have three generals. So let's just delegate this fight. Should be pretty simple. No need to actually fight it. Alrighty. We even won a free duel there. Uh, we'll take income. We can sit and replenish. Oh, they're, they're still around. But now they're not a... They're not like the rebel in the first stage where people are joining them and they're replenishing. They're no longer going to replenish in our territory. Too. So that's actually not going to impact us much. We're going to have one of these level 2 guys to come do restructure administration here. We're going to need to put a restructure administration in Ling Ling because that's a big hole here. Right, if we look at it, it's negative 4, negative 6, it's negative 10. That's a lot of points going out of the door. We'll use it like a, another level 2 guy to get the level up. Yeah, Reformation right now is the worst. Um, yeah, another turn, we can see what it is at its best. Uh, we'll just let them replenish. We're still mustering. We have them really move the army. Tai Chen leveled up, which made him... Ooh, desire for court position even higher. Oh, he's also the lowest rank, so we should give him a raise. This is not fair for him. Switch his weapon. Give him a dog. Hmm. I could give this to him. Now yeah, I'll, I'll save it. He leveled up. Um... Maybe this one, then he can pick up Reach. Or does he need to pick up Reach? He doesn't need to pick up Reach. He's not commanding either, though. Hmm. Unbreakable. He already has melee evasion, military supplies, food. He's actually really decent. He's a really decent advisor, actually. Uh, minus Nafona will support kind of sucks, but minus by corruption, right? Minus plus 10% peasantry. Yeah, he's so so, I guess. Let's get. What should we get? Should we go to the top tree or the bottom tree? We kind of want hamstring. This is not useful if he's not commanding. I guess we could get these and make him the commander, right? Then it'd be more useful. All right, right now that army is fine. Build up the government support. We don't have to worry about the reformation loss because we're going to have a permanent assignment there. This is good. We should build the private workshop here. And then we probably don't need to worry about reformation much once we get that level up. So that should be good. Right, everything else is built. It's much easier to take a turn in the... Ah, he did capture it. Well, good for him. Saves us 4,000 gold. We just have to get this one. 
Alright, let's go pick up this salt mine and then we come back and attack him. Or we could attack him this... Uh, we'll pick up the salt mine first. Then we go back in one direction. This army... It's just helping this recover a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Because eventually our next enemy is most likely Sima Chi. So this army being here is actually quite nice because you, you can see we're in the striking re reach of uh, Yuzhang, small city. We just go there in one turn. That's quite nice. All right. So we can just go to next turn. There's nothing that really happened. Picked up Honest. Not no big deal. Let's continue. All right. Next turn, Sima Wei declare wars. Yeah, he likes to fight. Sure. It's not against us. We don't really care. New reform picked up. I know I forgot something last turn though. We forgot to do a trade deal. Right, we had this one and we didn't really do it. Oh, he's the only one who's willing to say yes. Alright, Sima Yue, I guess we have to talk again. But now this is positive. That's interesting. Jin Empire still won't like this deal though, but we really do need a trade route. I mean, unless... I mean, God, I care about the Jin Empire way too much. Such a good prince. Hmm. I guess we have no choice. He's the only one we can really get a trade deal. He can pay us a little bit of gold. Uh, there we go. Alrighty, I take care of that. More characters. Labor recruiter. Okay, that's a trade piece. Sima Ying. Okay, there's different Sima Ying, but let's see. How good is he? 22. He's young. That's good. He used to serve Sima Jiu, but he's willing to spy, so I'm going to guess he's not a spy himself. Um, hmm. These traits aren't the best, but they all provide a ton of expertise. He's level 3. He, wow, he's, he's good. 22 year old, 120 points. Let's pick him up. Let's see, this guy right here, 25 year old, decent, cautious, energetic, greedy. Greedy is a little bad. I also work for Samajion. What happened with Samajion? He's losing people? Well, it must be his control mechanism. Samajion has a hard time keeping people in his faction once his control goes up. Hmm. I think we've seen her already. Yeah, these are the same people. We gotta look down here. That's one. Okay, plus 10 satisfaction is great. The other is not so good. But I guess this is not bad for spy action. You can use her as a spy. It's easy for her to stay happy. We can consider her. Uh, this is so so. Yeah, cheerful is good. We have a hard time keeping people happy. Not so sold on her. Okay, I think we're good. We hired one. It's pretty good. We have a level up. Oh, he's level three already. Leveling it quite fast. Um. Feels like he's going to be on the battlefield, so we get him reach. He's at 24 points. We should probably get him something to do. Anyways, let's pick up this um, salt mine. Cost us 4,000. And we're Grand Prince. Yeah! Perfect timing too, because we just picked up our reform. All right, we're Grand Prince now, so we got a few more government roles. We got a new administrator, so there's a lot of positions to give out. Got to take some time to figure this stuff out. First, new role of reforms available. We could just go straight ahead and rush for Onyx Dragons, which would be amazing. But our Jin, Archer Jin is pretty good. We can survive on it for a little while. We don't have to overspend and get these Onyx Dragons, but they're really amazing too. Plus 10 campaign movement range, that's pretty good too. Plus starting rank, that's pretty good. Minus 10 rent new upkeep, 
not bad. One more administrator, wonderful, I love that. Plus five faction support, I love that. Minus five corruption, I love that. Cheaper construction, always like that. And then these are level four, level five. Okay, this is good, this I like. Okay, marketplace building sucks. Peasantry income, not our main thing right now. Minus 10% building upkeep, discounts, school building. I think that's the lumber yard. Yeah, and these are T. This is not bad. These are the buildings we need, but the passive bonuses aren't that good. All right, level four iron mine. We have one iron mine, I believe. Copper is important. Copper is important. And this is actually really good for all mine discount industry build time cost. So I'm p deciding between this one and, and this one right here because of this 5% flat construction cost and 5% boost to industry. And this unlocks the level four and level five basically um, private workshop because there's uh, no level five private workshop reform needed. Once you unlock the fourth one, you just need a small regional city to unlock the fifth one, unlike in the base game where you need a separate reform for both. So I'm gonna go start with this one. I think it's gonna have the most impact for us right away. Um, let's see, Ling Ling, we should upgrade the government support first. Puyang, we should, I don't know, I'm starting to think about school in a different light. We're leveling up our characters a bit too fast and we can't maintain their happiness. But T first, it's all free. All right. Um... Maybe, yeah, I think we'll just upgrade it right now. Wow. What's going on in Wuling? The Jin Empire is under attack. Something's going on here. I'm guessing Sima Ying is laying siege to Wuling right now. We're going to be meeting our younger brother very soon. Hmm. Impressive. All right, so we have administrators in Changsha and Puyang, and I want an administrator in Changwu. So let's take a look at who can do this job here. Mainly to boost commerce and peasantry income. Food production, food production, 20% peasantry income. And he's unhappy, so this will solve a lot of issues actually. And we don't need all the building upgrade discount because this is pretty ready built up if you look at it. Hmm, plus two noble support, plus five. Might be best. Might be the best case scenario here with him. Yeah, and it's actually gonna work out for the best here. Right, if we look at him now, where is he? Does he right away go up here? Yep. He loses that 48 point desire for higher office. Now he's very happy with us. He's picked up most of the administrator's skills already. This is the only one that he could pick up for some extra industry, but there's no industry here, so we don't really need it. We could give him... Probably this one. Right, this one will help with more peasantry income. All right, pretty excited that worked out. And we have one extra assignment, so we can add a new assignment to one of the cities that's actually causing us more reformation loss. Probably this one. Minus six, plus one. Yeah, why not? This is a good place to actually level up some people. Is he lack of purpose? Oh, not really. He's just generally not happy with us. He has a lack of purpose issue, but he's also really high level. Let's use him first. We also have a few positions which we can use to fill with people who are levels getting a little too high. For example, our wife. Rivalry within the army. Oh, that's right. We did that on purpose. Rivalry within the faction. Desire for higher court. Who else is high level? Sandy here is... 
Yeah, maybe we should put him as a core position. Basically, we're going to spend money to make everyone happy. And they, they can give us missions, and missions can keep more people happy. Alright, we're going to use Sandy because Sandy actually gets along with everyone. And then Grand Excellency, we're going to give to our wife. Actually, this should be a sentinel, shouldn't it? Because it's industry buffs. But we don't have one that works. So we can give it to our wife first. Yeah. Let's do that. This might be interesting. We're keeping everyone happy, which is amazing. Do we get a bonus for that? We should, honestly. Anyways, um, so more people are happy. Once we get this mission done, we can get new missions so then all the vanguards, all the champions, and all the strategists can remain happy with us. Alright, we can just march out, finish that off, and finish that mission. Uh, just delegate, no need to fight this. Ooh, got real bloody real quick. Did we win another duel? We lost a duel. Yeah, automated duels are weird. Uh, we'll take money. We finish this mission. Peasantry, income, uh, growth boost, champion boost, Sima Jian boost. You can just rest up. Might need him out west soon. We can invoke one in two turns? Okay, not bad. I think all the buildings are done. Alright, let's continue. Alright, uh, Samawe has asked them to join war against. Okay, that's basically not our issue again. Ah, Jin and Sima Liang has become an uh, alliance. Interesting. And because they're an alliance, he's gonna go to war with everyone who's at war with Sima Liang. Cao Huan is destroyed. Wow. Finest armor. Guess so much for resurgency of Wei. Okay, that's a. Sentinel armor. Why are you unhappy? I know we got you into a rivalry. Uh, I guess this is the negative effect of all these rivalries. He's just unhappy now. We'll pay him off. He's a useful warrior. All right. New administrator leveled up. That's good. We can pick up some um, industry boost. Perfect. Now, do all our sentinels have good armor? Because these two doesn't. Sima Ying, you have the right name. We'll give it to you. We actually have two of them. Lucky you. Lucky day for both of them. Okay. Uh, Changsha. All right, this building we want to get rid of. We're no longer going to keep this building. We're going to build a labor building, and we're also going to build a land development building. That's the new strategy. Uh, Pu Yang. It's basically this weaponsmith. He's recommending us to downgrade it. We haven't got any weapons, so maybe I should listen to them. Maybe because we don't have artisan. Actually, hold on. Before we do this, we're going to get an artisan quite soon. Once we get that reform, we can get an artisan. So we should hold on to this. Just be a little bit more patient. We'll get weapons soon. Okay, salt mines being built. Let's march back and go to war with them. He pulled his... Oh, he's still here. He's gonna die. Alright, we're gonna grab this. There's also a commandery here. The commandery city is on this island. Uh, 
but we're gonna first take down this fishing port. We're gonna ignore the commandery city. And let's just quick check. They're still helping boosting them. Okay, and they're still just guarding the capital. Okay, nothing's really happening. Peaceful times. About to change. Let's go here. Oh, I lied. We got a weapon. So we didn't need to downgrade it. That's good. Warblade. Not the weapon we were hoping for. Forge Master. That's actually quite good. Administrator Advisor. Oh. So, this is a faction-wide boost. Campaign movement. He's no longer leading the army, so this is useless for him. We should give him this industry bonus for the entire faction. And expertise and instinct are good stats. Wife here is leading the army, so this will give us more movement range. Melee cavalry. Maybe we can give this to another strategist in another army. There we go. But they don't have any melee cavalry. Melee cavalry are the champion, uh, the commander cavalries. You can get the war blade. There we go. Okay. We're about to go back into war, but before we do that, let's take a look at our commanderies. Get this to all the way to level 5. Who is doesn't have one right now? Changsha, Yuling, Ling Ling. Um, I'm guessing Pu Yang needs one. Minus 6. Plus 2. So only minus 4 here. Tang Wu. Minus 10. Yeah, Tang Wu needs a little bit more. Oh, but no one likes to work here, or else we're going to get a rivalry going on. Interesting. No one gets along with... Um, well, maybe one of them would get along. We're going up by 15 a turn. Oh, we hit it. I think we... Uh, maybe not. Maybe we're almost there. Hmm... We'll make him work five turns here. It's not going to be the end of the world. New characters. Actually, maybe one of these new guys would be willing to work here. Concerned, distinguished, handsome. Mm, so so. Not a fan. Hmm, double melee evasion. He's just a little old. 38. Yeah, none of these guys really stand out. So I guess not. Maybe we should have him work in Puyang. We'll try to respect everyone, make sure there's not too many rivalries, because rivalries also impact satisfaction. Which is the one thing we're really having trouble dealing with right now. Uh, for the last building st sp uh, sp spot, we're going to do land development. Alright, that's all the buildings. The other two armies aren't going to move. We're going to declare war. Actually, we're going to do this first. Alright, we got to raise a new army, raise a force. Uh, build an upgrade to the, the settlement. And build upgrade to the settlement. Sure, both of these are very doable. So first we're gonna go to war. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna be taking out Sikan himself, who is leading this army. He has resiliency, he has over 100 authority stat. Si Yan. This is his dad? 64? Okay, he's also in the army. Faction heir, so I'm assuming that she's wife. And a very small retinue because it's a very low level, level 1 uh, fishing port. Let's go to battle. Alrighty, so as you can see, since they just converted this, there is no arrow towers whatsoever. That's just sad. Okay, alright. 
So it's raining, which sucks. Uh, there's no arrow tower, so I'm going to pick the widest piece of land here, just in case they come out. It's the best place to fight is this gate, uh, if you're expecting them to come out. If they're not coming out and you have to go in, then definitely fight at that gate over there. We'll still use flame, Flaming Shot, yeah, because uh, even if it's raining, I still think the Flaming Shot does more with the splash damage. Archers, though, I'll just stick to regular archers because the arrows, regular arrows, do does more damage than the flaming ones. The flaming one really just does uh, morale shock, which is good. But in weather like this, you know, fire isn't gonna stick on the ground very long, so we're gonna avoid that. And the rest of this is pretty simple setup. We should recruit some more new cavalry. There's no point to have him have two cavalry units. Maybe he will be the first general we experiment uh, cataphracts on. Let's do that after this fight. All right, are they gonna come out? That's the first question. Oh my God, what? You guys, you see this? They, they ran at the beginning of the fight. No one hit them. Why is the morale so low? I mean, it's night battle and all, but why is it so low? Settlement damage. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. So apparently because all the arrow towers are down, they're getting hit by 20 points of settlement damage on their morale. And then there's 15 points on because night battle that they didn't have to start with. This is going to be an easy fight. This guy has Unbreakable. He's the leader. He's 100 all the time. He's going to have to kill him. Uh, since they're not actually coming out, we should just move up. We should just move up. I'll cut it when we get there. Alright guys, Trippuche is not there yet, but the crossbowmen are in range. And we're absolutely murdering them. And we're going to keep moving up actually. There's really no threat. These guys can come to the side. Yeah, this is a joke. This fight is... They basically bury themselves in this settlement. Made life easy for us to take them out. Alright. I'm going to shoot at all these units with only 200 range. As we have 250 range. I mean, extra range just... Leaves you in such a good position. You know, they, they can't fire back. What can they do? Alright, tribute chasing position. They can just fire well. We can just fire well for the rest of this fight. These guys aren't even firing. They don't have the range, but we got to knock out the archers on the outside first. Ooh, there we go. I think eventually we're going to be shooting at generals because there's not going to be any units left to shoot. Let's move up a little bit more. This is a joke. This fight is really not really a fight. I think this... Our, our crossbow's running out. We can pull them back, actually. They don't need to be here anymore. Does he want to duel us? He does. Let's do it. Let's watch this. Knock him off, knock him off. Oh, come on. He got the first hit. Come debuff him. We'll steal his ability, whatever it is. Oh, it's nasty to steal. That's not good. Close relative and rival. So the second we kill him, the commander over there is going to be pretty mad at us. Let's go. Yeah, this is his dad. Oh my god, he's 80. He's 64. I just remembered. Come on, Samai. Don't, don't lose to the old man. Alright, these guys can just stand here. Make sure they don't chase randomly. Alright, we're fighting the 64-year-old grandpa here.
and we're struggling with him because of his tenacity of steel bonus. Oh wow, wow, wow! We're getting shot. I just noticed. Actually, why not? We let's go in. We're already getting shot. Wow, that took me a long time to notice we were getting killed over there. Might as well make this part exciting. Finish him, Samai. Finish him. There we go. He's dead. Ooh, nice. Fight. He's enraged. Gotta get rid of, get out of his sight. They're both enraged. Both close relatives. All right, Samai can see if he can go pick up fight over there. All right, we're killing all the units. Make sure we route them first, and then we turn around and fight the generals. I think for our general safety, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out our infantry of Jin to murder them. All right, this guy is mad, but he doesn't have a good weapon. So even with the bonuses from fallen relative, it'd be okay. Let's kill him first. She's routing. Let's go get him. Sending the strategy is a little risky, but it's okay. He shouldn't be that strong to withstand all these cavalry hits. He doesn't have that much armor or um, uh, melee evasion. We should be able to kill him pretty quickly. Alright, hack him to death. That's what you get for spending 4,000 money, 4,000 gold to help us. Ooh, our strategist came in. Where's Smai? Oh, he died. Well, just to say our wife killed him. All right, there we go. Claim victory. All righty, that was simple. They basically built themselves a death trap for us to take and be. Ooh, we caught them all. So, I think the solution here is we kill them all. All right, since we're gonna fight the rest of his faction, anyways, and he's gonna be eliminated. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Occupy. All right, and they have a successor. Good for her. And uh, there's a region for that successor. Okay, so sure, whatever. Um, let's see here. So we picked up Hopu's fishing port. Uh, Hopu lumberyard is over here. Where is Hopu's actual commandery? Oh, it's right here. So Hainan is a big lumberyard. Interesting. We we're interested in that. We're not interested in that. Rice patty. We want all of these, but we have to kind of take that to reach that. That's fine. We have to level it up. We're not going to die in the same death trap that they built for themselves. Um, everything else is good. Uh, we said we wanted to recruit more units for him, and we will do just that. Cataphracts joins our army. It's fitting that we give them to... Um, uh, Sima'ai's main army. Let's see, we're gonna test it out, see how good they are. Um, other than that, I think we can end turn. Most of our other army don't have anything to do. We just have to slowly take out these territory before our dear old brother over here. Oh my god, Sima'ying. Sima'ying is just making moves. He is all the way... I, I consider this our territory, Yi and that's the third spice market. We need that too. He's within striking distance of uh, Jiao Zhi as well. We gotta pick that up before they do. Alright, we're on our clock here. Let's go next turn. Oh, come on. Sima Wei, our brother, has declared war on us again. This time we can fight him. We have an army in the north this time. Wu Wang, Sima Yan wants to ask us for a coalition. No thank you. Alright, our dear old brother Sima Wei has declared war on us. We have a new mission. 
Let's see, our reputation for nobility and mercy is known across the land, even though we executed three generals in a row last term. The Empress has played the game poorly and now faces foes on all front. In her desperation, she turns to you for protection. Wow, I thought you guys aligned yourself with Sima Liang. I will gain control of the Emperor, become regent, become highly unpopular. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hmm. I think I'm going to shy away from this position. I don't think we want to be region now. I'm sorry. All right. And then new mission. What? So she's demanding war. She wants us to fight Sima Chi. We kind of want to do that. Empress's favorite. This is different than uh, in favored, but it sounds kind of the same. Huh. I mean, condemn them. Kind of cheesy way out. Fund the war. Condemn them. Five points here. Refuse. I don't want to refuse her. Smatch already doesn't like us, but it's trending to our 32. We have an army sitting there. This could be the excuse to fight them. This could be the excuse to fight them. So our three armies, one will defend the north from Sima Wei. One will go down a bit south to take out Sima Chi. And the other armies will clean up the south and then face up with Sima Ying. All right, let's do it. Let's declare war. All righty. All right, so I think this is a good closing point for this episode, actually. So right now, what we're faced with is over here. I expect the army coming down river very soon to the lumber yard again. We'll shift our army over there and wait, probably in ambush mode somewhere right here, to face off with Sima Wei, our dear old older brother. He's the fifth son of uh, our dad. We're the sixth son. Down here, we're making a push to unite all of the south. Uh, we're going to grab all this territory here. We're in a race with our brother Sima Ying here. Uh, Sima Ying is the 16th son. He's our younger brother. And out here, uh, we have a third, oh, sorry, basically our second army, led by Sima Jian. And his job now is to attack Sima Chi. Sima Chi is the 25th son. He's also our younger brother. Uh, he eventually will become the next emperor. In historically, he will become the next emperor after all of um, the eight princes. Uh, saga is over. He will come out as the closest person in line to become emperor. He'll become emperor. He will live in Luoyang when the five barbarians come. Liu Cong will enslave him and he will be basically a slave the rest of his life to the barbarians. Not a good happy life. So we're going to spare him of that by just taking out him right now. And we're going to prevent all this barbarian nonsense by uh, reforming the Jin Empire and preparing it for a peaceful time after the Eight Princess Saga. So see y'all next time as we continue war on all three fronts with our three armies. Much better prepared than last time. So see y'all then. Bye!